Hey everyone, I'm back with another Notion video today. It's been a hot second since I've done a Notion video because I was doing my digital declutter series, which you can watch over here. But now that I'm back, I have some big updates and I'm really excited to share with you. So first, um, we have a brand new layout for my ADHD Life Tracker template on the dashboard. I have already changed it, so if you have already gotten that template, you can reduplicate it um, from the link and let me know if there's any questions that you have. But I wanted to walk through that today, kind of the way that I've kind of simplified my dashboard. I also want to talk about the biggest announcement, which is my brand new bundle, which is called Notion Foundations All Access. This is where you can get all of our templates all of the courses, including Notion Foundations, which is like basically how to use Notion, and then my new course, Notion Template Creator, that all comes in that. You also get monthly office hours with me and monthly workshops for an entire year, all for 147, which I think is a really good deal. If you add everything up, like it's such a good discount. So I just thought I would share that with you guys because it's a brand new feature. And this is gonna be actually our main offering moving forward. I really wanna get um, more people a part of this. So you just like, instead of having to pick and choose, oh, should I get the course? Should I get the template? You get everything. So I'm really, really excited about this. You can check it out below. I'm simplifying everything and just allowing you guys to have as much access and information as you need. I found that people just get overwhelmed at first. So having access to all the resources is just the best way to go about it. So I wanted to talk through why I've changed the dashboard today. So if you have gotten my template in the past or you've seen my past videos, you know that that I had like a pretty big dashboard that had a bunch of different widgets and different like um, views of different you know databases and that sort of thing and I was getting confused and overwhelmed with my own dashboard so I've simplified a ton of it and I've given you options to still have that or have this new button option that I've kind of set up for myself um, I posted this in my Facebook group and a few people wanted to see how I did it so I want to walk through that today so I hope that you guys check it out uh, make sure to check out Notion Foundations I'll access Hello, and let's get into the video. Okay, so we are in my personal life tracker. This will look very, very similar to my template, but I just want to show you what I have set up for myself. So as you guys know, I have my pillar system, which I actually have a quick link to over here so I can quickly find it. But again, it does take up some space on the main page but I've decided to organize my most frequently used databases and pages within this. And I've set this up in my template as well. So you'll see over on the left-hand side, I have my business projects, my content calendar, my to-do list, my goals and vision board. And then this is a newer one that I've set up, which is savings targets. These are things where, um, these are things I'm saving up for that are, you know, a couple hundred dollars up to a thousand dollars that I'm like, all right, what are the things that I'm like, I can't just like go out and buy it right now, but I, I definitely want to get it at some point. And I I can actually just like save up for it. Then I've got some of the home stuff. I've got my product shopping list, which is the things I'm buying, the products and assets in my house. I've got my frameworks one, which I use a lot. A lot of you guys have seen that in a previous video. I'll maybe walk through that a little bit today. I've also got a lot of my entertainment. So my TV shows, movies, podcasts, YouTube, things that I track. And then over here on the right side, I have a couple of options. So the gift is actually um, a recent update. And actually what's funny is I added this in, um, but I actually listened to it on Insight Timer now, but I had this man on the podcast, Robert Christensen, who wrote this book called The Bug in Our Brain. And I loved it so much. And he has this daily affirmation. Um, I had just copied it from the book, but he does have it on Insight Timer and I'll leave that link below. But if you open it, you'll see that I literally just have it written out. So I have all of the things I'm saying out loud in there. It's kind of a great, you know, catch all like area that I can um, read it from. I've also got the grocery list, my meals. Um, this is actually an add to grocery list button. So this actually goes to a page where I can have even more buttons set up. So if I'm like, I need to add um, chocolate chips to my grocery list, I can have like a list of all of my buttons and then it will automate adding that to my grocery list and changing the status, which we can talk about maybe in a future video. Then I have my books. So that's my current books I'm reading. My daily routine, which is part of the daily life tracker. I've got these this automation. So this is kind of just like some automated things that I've set up. And then I've got my knowledge vault and tags. This is the biggest database that I have. I've gone through this before. It's sorted into the 13 pillars. And this is basically just like everything in my life. I've got you know, this is basically my hub of every single page that I have. And I don't know about you, but I was so excited that Notion can ha now have um, ch change to have a ton of different icons changed all at once, which has been super helpful. 
then you will see I have my widgets, I've got a weather, and then I've got um, date, and that's basically it. So this is my homepage now, and it looks very similar on the template as well, but these are what I have found personally are my most actively used. So I'll go into each of these really quick and show you guys kind of a walkthrough of what that happens to go to because again, a lot of people just want to see. So the first one is business projects. Now, currently I have it sorted by the, you know, priority. So I have different things I'm working on. Um, and then I just have ones that aren't as big of priority. So if I'm just trying to find something, I can also see the status, I me mean, what the business projects I'm working on right now. So then when I move over to the content calendar, I will open that. And then I've got all of my, you know, upcoming potential ideas. You guys have probably seen this one before. This is part of my main database. And then I've got my to-do list. So these are like the, the currently, so I filtered this one out so that it's like only high priority things I have to do today. Um, you can see I have like a list of things. So that has been really helpful to organize it in that way where it's filtered that way. Um, I've got my goals and vision board. So this is just all the things I ever wanna do. I just have my goals. And then this is a savings target one that I've just set up. So this is, you know, things I wanna get, like I need new, new retainer or I wanna buy my, get a new passport that sort of thing, I wanna get a Ninja Creamy, you know, all of these things. These are just things that I wanna save up for that aren't like 20 bucks, but I'm like, all right, they're things I need, but don't really wanna spend right now. So that is what I've, I'm saving up for. So those are, that's a new one of mine, but I think it's very helpful for me. It, instead of being like on a vision board, it's just a savings, I call it a savings target. I've got my product shopping list. So these are all the things that I need right now. I've got my products and assets. So you guys have seen these, if you haven't watched Previous videos, I go through all of these. So my products and assets. So this one, I don't know why it's sorted that way, but I've got literally all of the different rooms in my house. I've got all the things that I own. My frameworks one, which has been a super, super big one that I've been working on for the last year. These are all of my acronyms and uh, different, you know, things that I have. I have a whole video on this. This, this is something I look at quite often. I've got my TV show tracker. So this is tracking all the shows. So I have it organized, you know, by different, different views. I have, you know, so this one, for example, is like, what am I currently watching? What's, you know, what am I done with? That sort of thing. Watching the shows I'm watching. Um, same with movies. Um, I've got my list of different types of movies. So I've got documentaries. You can sort it in many, many different ways. Um, again, very similar. Podcast, YouTube, very much the same. What am I listening to? Just a, a list of all of my favorite podcasts. And then YouTube videos and YouTube channels I watch. Let's go to grocery list. You guys have seen this one before. I have my master list of all of my groceries. And then I can just change the status so that it goes to grocery list. So basically I would just go in, for example, if I was going into like produce, if I'm out of baby carrots, I would just change it to grocery list. I have it filtered over here. So now that would just automatically add that here. It's a very, very easy way for me to track my meals and groceries. Here I have all of my list of all the different meals. Um, I have all of the different, you know, recipes of all the different things I've ever tried, which then links also over, relates over to all of the grocery list items. So I know exactly what I need. The add to grocery list, you'll see here that like, for example, if I'm out of a chocolate chips, I just click that and it automatically changes the status. And by doing that, um, I have set up a button so that it automatically changes that over. I've got my books. So these are what I'm currently reading. Um, any notes. So I'm just reading this one now called Influence is Your Superpower. I've just started taking notes on it. So now I have that inside there. I need to move it to a different folder. For my daily routine, my daily routine so that this is today, you can see where the status is of everything. Um, and if I wanted to update that, I would go into the automation. So for example, if I made my bed, I just click that. And then you will see within here that made bed is done. So again, this kind of goes along with the daily routine. Um, I've done a whole video on buttons and automation, so you definitely should watch that video. And then I've got my tags and knowledge vault. So that is really the biggest update with my dashboard. Um, I also still have the pillar option. You could um, make this, um, I could go over here. Let me actually do this right now to show you. So I would just go to linked view of database. I would type in pillars which I was just used and I could put this on top still, which is great because it is a shortcut. So I might keep this, but you'll see that these are even within these, these are the ones that I use the most. So 
that is my current setup. I did get rid of like all of those other ones, which I guess I could show you on the on the template. So on the template, you can see I still have a lot of these shortcuts. Um, I just don't use these as much as I used to because I now have these buttons. So I set these up for you guys if you wanted to have access to them. You can again, either delete these or whatever you want, but I found that these are much faster because they're just a button that opens something. If you wanted to create your own, obviously you just go to button, you would select open page and then you'd select which one you want to have open. So whatever your most frequently used uh, pages are, I found that the buttons are really, really helpful because you know exactly what you're looking for and you can quickly find it. So that's what I would recommend for this template. Um, it is part of the new Notion Foundations All Access as well as all of my other templates, all of my courses and monthly training. So you guys should definitely check that out. You can see the link below and I'll talk to you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick episode. Tell you guys more about Notion. Bye.